Welcome to the new episode. I'm Dave. It's great to have you here. Uh, my eye is almost completely healed up, so this will probably be the last video you see me wearing these glasses in, and I doubt you care one way or the other. Today I find myself once again in the VIC-20 corner of the Commodore room, and we'll be talking today about using a Commodore VIC-20 computer from 1981 as an X10 controller device for home automation. So what is X10 Home Automation? X10 was developed in a joint venture between a Scottish company, Pico Electronics, and a British company, Birmingham Sound Reproducers, or BSR. These two companies teamed up in 1974 to create an AccuTrack automated record player, and then again in 1978 to create their X10 home automation system. The name X10 apparently was chosen because it was the 10th project undertaken by Pico Electronics. The AccuTrack turntable had been Project X9. Full credit for my little history lesson here goes to a fellow by the name of Edward B. Driscoll Jr. who wrote a web page that is no longer being actively served, but is still available on the Wayback Machine. X10 works by broadcasting signals over your home's existing electrical wiring, so you'd plug in an X10 controller and you could use that to send commands to any X10 connected devices in your home. Everything that's plugged in electrically will see the signals, but only X10 aware devices will respond. So maybe you'd use an X10 to control your television so it would automatically turn off at 10 p.m. every night, but maybe you'd skip controlling your oven, microwave, and refrigerator. Every X10 command signal consists of a house code, A through P, a unit code or device code, 1 through 16, then a command like turn on or turn off. So you could name your house A, then maybe you have two devices, a lamp with unit code 1 and a television with unit code 2. X10 would refer to these as A1 and A2. So when you press the A1 button on your X10 controller, your lamp will know to turn on, but your television, even though it sees this signal, won't turn on. And then when you press the A2 button on your X10 controller, your lamp won't respond to this signal, but your television will turn on. Okay, so what if you have a pool house and that also has a lamp and a television you want to control? Simple, you make that house code B and your lamp and television will be B1 and B2. And even though both lamps are device number one, pressing A1 on your controller will only affect lamp A1, not B1 since the house codes are different. Okay, now we know everything there is to know about X10. I would consider us x perts at this now. Get it, X perts? Anyway, uh, what you're looking at here, this is the stuff I'll be using to demonstrate using a Commodore VIC-20 computer as an X10 controller. Uh, this thing right here, it's called the VIC controller. Uh, it's a device that was sold by Genesis Computer Corp in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And as you might know, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania was also the home of Bethlehem Steel Corporation, which produced the steel that was used in the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Neat little fact. Uh, the VIC controller, it plugs into the back of the VIC-20 into the user port, and with the corresponding VIC controller software, this device allows you to use your VIC-20 computer as an X10 controller. How exciting. Over here, uh, X10 lamp module. I bought this off Amazon, and it's key to note, this is a current product. So while X10 was invented way back in 1978, it's still in use today. Uh, this is an LM15A X10 lamp module. Uh, you screw this into any lamp socket, then you screw your light bulb into here, and this device will detect X10 signals flowing into it through your electrical wires and allow you to control the light that's screwed in there. Getting us ready for action here. X10 socket I just showed you, and a light bulb. Screw the light bulb into there. Now, unfortunately, I could not find an incandescent light bulb anywhere in my house because I wanted to be able to show you the dimming feature of X10. Uh, I did look on GE's website. They claim the GE refresh LEDs are dimmable. We'll find out. Uh, and this is the lamp we're gonna be using. I don't know where that's from. Ikea, maybe? I've had it forever. So get that screwed in there and we will use that to demonstrate X10. Ready to get VIC controller plugged in. Back of the VIC-20 into the user port and any standard electrical outlet. And it's worth mentioning we also need a 16K RAM expansion. 
Then our cheap lamp, that gets plugged in next. Let's turn the VIC-20 on. Load the directory. And I should mention I have uh, one of Jim Brain's micro IEC devices connected. So that's why you don't hear the satisfying clatter of a disk drive. The software we want to load is that SS20 right there. So the software starts up and uh, it doesn't give us a whole lot of info. Enter the location. So we know from what I described to you before about X10 that it expects a house code and a device number. Um, I believe this thing is already set to A1. So we're going to say A1. And then what command do we want to send? Well, this doesn't have a lot of commands available to it. All on would turn every device on. All off would turn them all on on, off, or level number. Uh, so we'll start with on because that makes the most sense. How cool. All right, let's try, let's, let's uh, send an A2, which it should ignore, right? Off. So we just sent, let's tell A2 to turn off and A1 stayed on. Nice, so A1. And we'll turn it off now. No, we won't. Let's try that again. There we go. I don't know why that last one didn't work. Uh, I'm going to turn it back on and then we'll see if dimming works. So let's turn it on. And then let's try to dim it. I don't know if this bulb is dimmable, but we'll say level number. And I don't know what the number can be. Um, I don't know, five or 50. I don't know. It did not seem to dim it at all, did it? I didn't notice anything. Level, let's go 30. It still does not look dim. I don't think the dim feature works on this bulb, to be honest. Or maybe it's like 0 to 9 or something? Let's try 5. That turned it off. Well, I feel bad. I cannot show you the level feature because I think it's just because I don't have a dimmable bulb. So that's unfortunate. But you did get a pretty cool demonstration of X10 home automation on a 1981 VIC-20 home computer. <laughs>